हे हाय गाइस थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वाचिंग बीइंग ज़ूलॉजिस्ट वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल सो टुडे व्हाट वी विल बी डूइंग वी विल बी डूइंग दैट इज वी आर पिकिंग अप द डिफरेंसेस बिटवीन द कन्वर्जेंट इवोल्यूशन एंड द डाइवर्जेंट इवोल्यूशन एज आई ऑलरेडी सेड सो लेट्स बिगिन what is the differences between convergent evolution and divergent evolution guys here is the first difference that is in convergent evolution there is no ev no common ancestor okay and in the case of divergent evolution we seen that that is the common ancestor is there so here comes our first difference that is in convergent evolution no common ancestor is there and in the case of divergent evolution there is a presence of common ancestor all right now let's come to the second point that is in the case of convergent evolution we seen that the selective pressure is same right what is selective pressure that is the environment it is same over here but in the case of divergent evolution we seen that the selective pressure is not same it is different the environment is different right now moving on to the third point that is in a case of convergent evolution similar kind of adaptation is seen in the organism right and in case of divergent evolution the different kind of adaptation is seen right guys here let me tell you one thing that here we are considering the uh, summary format of convergent evolution and divergent evolution right so if you have not gained the concept properly and directly jumping into this kind of video then it is not beneficial for you so what you can do you first go and watch those videos then come to this video and continue all right and uh, i will be providing you all the video links in my description box now let's focus on the fourth point that is in a case of convergent evolution the analogous structures are developed and in a case of divergent evolution the homologous structures are developed right now fifth point in a case of convergent evolution homoplasy is seen and in a case of divergent evolution homoplasy kind of thing is not seen all right now let's come to the sixth point in sixth point in the case of convergent evolution adaptive radiation is not seen right and in the case of divergent evolution we see that the adaptive radiation is taking place right now let's come to the seventh point that is in the case of convergent evolution allopatric speciation is not observed right but in the case of divergent evolution we see the allopatric kind of speciation okay now let's come to the examples what are the example for convergent evolution so here is the example that is wing of bat butterfly and bird they are showing the analogous structures right and in the case of divergent evolution the examples are darwin finches which are showing the adaptive radiation right then hand of man wing of bat and flipper of dolphin all those are showing the homologous structures all right so this is all about the differences between convergent evolution and divergent evolution so if you like this video please hit the like button subscribe to my channel if you are new over here and yes take care stay motivated stay focused and keep studying guys bye bye